Thank you so much guys and I just don't know how to thank you. I can't thank you enough. Pardon. But why? Do you know? Yeah, just because you click on this video that you are watching right now. And today on this channel on the UL English, we are going to have a completely different English lesson that will definitely, that will must take your English to the next level. So now I want all of you guys to get ready and let's strike up the lesson. Let's go. Kachar ta saasu maqsad shauk au hadaf. The English the kalwi. No biya taasu 100% sahi zayat ar aghali astai. Au nin di tutorial sara de dar sara bas taasu English dir zayat strong shi. The de tutorial katalu sara bas taasu listening comprehension da au ridul kum kuwat chi dae. Da au de sara sara bas taasu desi new alfaz, advanced sentences. Au dir sa bas da ke cha aghas taasu dir zayat pa kaar rat le le shi. او بله خبر به گیداره چه انشالله نن بزا زیاد خبر یعنی ایٹی پرسند خبر بزا پا انگلیش کی کم یو پا آسان لحجی سرا چه هر سو پی پوی دلیشی او دی سر بتا سو بورکی گیم نا او سا سو لیسننگ کمپریہنشن نیوی الفاظ جملی پومدی طریقہ مانے بہتا سو زدہ کئی او دی ویڈیو پا خیر کی زدہ سٹول سر یو دیر زیاد زوری مشورہ کول غالم نو میرا بانیو کوئی ویڈیو تر اخیرہ پورے گورا پا خیر کی جکیم مشورہ دا نو دا آغی پا آلا دا آغی پا بارا کی ماتا ضرور خبلا رائے را کئی زکا چی دا ستا سو دا انگلیش پس دا کڑا کلے گنا او دیر زیاد پا کار رزی نو ماتا ہوا ہے چیرہ پا غی منا من کار شروع کو او کو شروع نو کو Alright guys, here we go and I hope you all are ready. So as I said at the beginning of this video that I will talk mostly in English language. So I will talk in English language and then I will also try my best to translate all these uh, to Pushto. And I hope and I do believe that you will understand all these things. So here we have two words. Number one is phenomenal and the second one is outstanding. And this means derha or very good like for example you see something and if it is very good so you don't have to say in english that it is very good i would recommend you to say instead the instead matlab de pase you have to say uh, phenomenal or outstanding instead of very good like for example you have a friend and he uploaded a photo on sorry a photo on facebook and you find this photo uh, very good so I would recommend you not to type, not to write very good because this is such a boring word. Instead of uh, very good, you can say phenomenal. This photo is phenomenal. Start the the phenomenal day. Or also you can say it is outstanding. The very good pasamanita suvaileshi outstanding ya phenomenal. Like if you say very good, so no one is going to grab your lapel, all right? No one is going to harm you. It is fine. But if you want to speak advanced English, then don't say very good. You have to say phenomenal or outstanding. And now it is time in turn to bring up our second word that you can see that is in front of you and also on the screen. So the second, I mean the third word here is uh, knackered. Knackered is a word which means very tired. The very tired madlab sare dir zyat stale. Khore dir lab spaze mani taasu waile shi knackered. If you say knackered in front of the people, like for example, you are very tired and you say, oh, I am very tired. So everyone know this and this is such a boring word. If you say it, it's fine. But if you want to speak advanced English, then you have to say, I'm knackered instead of tired. Kachero taas wa wale chi advanced English wa hai I am tired mo hai. Kato we I am tired sahi da khalik pui ki malle bhe da isa stadaim. Ho kato chero da da tired pa zemani we I'm knackered. I'm knackered. Da hai malle bhe da rich is da deer zyat stadaim. So instead of saying I am tired, you have to say I'm knackered. And there is an another word that you can also use instead of very tired and that is worn out. Worn out, knackered and also very tired. These three words has the same meaning. The same matlab the yaw shanti. These three words has the same meaning. That the dreamwal alfazu yaw matlab the chikkam teis ni malay stakho khara. Ho knackered and worn out. These two words are advanced words. And if you use these two words, so you will sound a bit advanced than boring. All right, guys. Now learn two more advanced words. And you can see them on the screen. The first one is starving and the second one is famished. Let's imagine that you are hungry. So what would you say? You may say, 
I am hungry. Or if you are very hungry, so then you may say, I am very hungry. The I am hungry means that the I am very hungry means that the dear that the game. But but I would recommend you not to use, not to say. I am hungry or I am very hungry because it sounds a bit boring everyone can understand this and this is a kind of old version if you want to sound more sophisticated more advanced and more like a native speaker native speaker matlab de yani ha khal ka sukh chpeda shi english hui yani angrezan if you want to sound like a native speaker if you want to speak like them like british people like uh, american people then you have to say i am famished द आई एम फेमिश मतलब सर डेर जियात ओ गेम नुबिया तो वाले वे आई एम वेरी हंगरी और यू कैन आस उसे आई एम स्टारविंग द आई एम स्टारविंग उमदा का मतलब दिस डेर जियात ओ गेम इफ यू से आई एम वेरी हंगरी पीपल कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इफ यू से आई एम स्टारविंग और आई एम फेमिश then you will definitely inspire other people through your accent the way you speak the way you will learn new words stop it i said stop it we are not going to learn advanced words anymore rather now we will focus on just two yeah only two advanced sentences that will take your english to the next level so the first sentence or the statement is here and that is to make a mountain out of a mole hell lumbane sentence mung sara dai to make a mountain out of a mole hell this means to make a big problem a very big problem out of a small problem like for example if your friend has a very small problem and if he makes like a very big problem from this small problem then he is really going to make a mountain out of a mole hell i think you didn't understand this the make a mountain out of a mole hell matlab dare kale chi okas the yo wale masale na yani the chani umra masale aur tani hui aur idina pura ghar jod ki kale suk the wale masale na yo got a masale jod ki like for example the chap sar mani dar the wo bas za humram न पाती की नो वड़ा मसाले न बस सारे दर्द खबशी खूब दे टीम क्या कर सकी ही इज मेकिंग अ माउंटेन आउट ऑफ अ मॉल हेल पदा टीम की औरत तास वायलेशी बिल्कुल वायलेशी दैट यू आर मेकिंग अ माउंटेन आउट ऑफ अ मॉल हेल चित खुद मामूली मसाले न यो गॉट अ मसाला जोड़े द एग्जांपल दे एंड दिस वाज ऑल फॉर टुडे now here's the end of my lesson and i do believe that you have enjoyed this lesson you must have learned some new vocabulary new sentences and i hope that it was not a boring lesson at all so as i said at the beginning of this video that i will share something with you that is really important for your uh, listening comprehension and also to learn new words new sentences i mean to take your english to the next level no matter so the video ko shuru kiye jata so reo mashwara kum aur da mashwara jikum da so the english this dark the para lagana aur dere zyada zaruri da aur agar aap kachar ta so wale chira mung de nur in this video gaane jude ko da video gaane ta so faida dar rasi khair da bade so jata si yo aaj yo this video ache da mung ache कोशिश